thank you for saving me. Sit right down, let's talk on Blackwell's bench. I want this to be a, a no holds barred, okay. meaningful, open and honest dialogue. Uh, you, you can't help yourself until you admit what's wrong. And my whole book is designed to unmask the satanic attack against men. You y'all do know we're under attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, y'all do know if there's ever been a time that Satan is attacking mas masculinity. Mm -hmm. It's not matter of fact in America now it ain't even good to be a man. Come on. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. Everything about our society, our culture, uh -huh. emasculates the man. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's uh, designed to even castrate us. Uh, latest data shows that men now have less testosterone than we used to have. Everything in society is taking our masculinity. Unless you don't know if your testosterone keep dropping. I mean, when you're an old man, you won't be able to open your pickle jar. Uh -oh. You know, back when I was a uh, when mama couldn't open the jar, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. she called my daddy or yeah, uh, yeah. me and my brother. Because yeah, yeah. a man's supposed to be able to. Yeah, yeah. But if our testosterone keep dropping, yeah, yeah. we ain't going to even be able to open our pickle jars. Yeah, yeah. And part of the satanic attack <laughs> against masculinity mm, yeah. is real, it's relevant, and it's right now. Yeah, and I'm yeah, hopefully. Yeah. Prayerfully uh, indulging and endeavoring to expose Satan's attack. Uh, I, I did write a book. It's my first book. I'm almost done with the second book. Uh, but Dr. Matthews and I composed together a mask in this satanic attack. What both men and women should need to know. And, uh, and the subtopic is put on the whole arm of God. Because when you're under attack, you better have on the right uniform. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you can't play football. And I know some of y'all trying to get to the Eagles beating the Giants. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I, I know. You, you can't show up at the game tonight with basketball shorts on. When you play football, you better have on the right gear. LeBron James can't show up with his uniform uh -huh. and play against Odell Beckham. Against uh -huh. linebackers in the NFL. And you better not show up in life without your arm on. Uh -huh. If the devil keep you catch you slipping without your arm on. Uh -huh. Y'all do know this is war. Uh -huh. We ain't got the memo. This is war. Gentlemen, this ain't no escalator ride. This is a mountain climb. This is not a nursing home. This is a battlefield. And if you ain't ready to fight and put on the whole arm of God, we need some more soldiers. And life and America is making a sissy out of all of us. You can't be the, you can't be the head of your house. You ain't the head of the church. You ain't the head of nothing. You just got some keys. Uh, and it's all a part of Satan's plan. And the book will. And I'll, I'll talk more about the book tomorrow. You can buy the book for $15. It means autographed copy. You can buy it on Amazon. But it won't be cop uh, autographed. And you can pay with check, cash. Uh, I'm sorry. You can pay with cash and a good check. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, we, you can pay with cash 
a good check, and I do have my swipe machine, so you, you can swipe your debit or your uh, uh, credit card. I, I know you wouldn't want a preacher, your brother in Christ, come here to Orlando, go back home, deposit your check, and I can join the Los Angeles Lakers, because you, you, you wouldn't want that, would you? I'm going to put you on blast. I'm a, uh, yeah, we, we, we're blessed at Southside. Well, I'm, next year will be my 20th year. Amen. Uh, the church that we started with uh, 12 people uh, 19 years ago. Amen. And God has blessed us immensely. We will, in February, we will pay off our $1.5 million note. Yes, sir. Uh, we'll yes, be debt free. Yes, sir. Uh, and in the 20 years now, we proudly say, not braggingly, but proudly state that God has blessed us Amen. with well over 350 members. Amen. And Amen. we are just thankful. Amen. And so next Memorial Day is my 20th year celebration. Amen. If you can carve time out of your arduous schedule, it's a holiday weekend. I come to the land of Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck. <laughs> we'd be glad to have all of you there. The, the book uh, was laid on my heart because I see what's happening to our young men. Yeah, yeah. It is parental malfeasance. Mm. It is parental uh, uh, malpractice. Yeah, yeah. To raise a boy and not know what's in this book. Okay. Okay. Uh, the devil, from the inception, has always attacked what God loves. Amen. Uh, Amen. You know the story. Don't, don't make me rehearse it. Amen. Come on. Mm -hmm. God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit conspired together. Mm -hmm. God made the world. Come on. God orchestrated the universe. Mm -hmm. God holds all power in his hand. Mm -hmm. But evidently, in Genesis, uh, when they had that high-level council meeting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that yeah. Jesus and the Holy Spirit were there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because God said emphatically, let us. Let us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, yeah. us <laughs> is two or more. Yeah, 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 yeah. God said, let us make man. And I, some of y'all said, well, you wasn't at the meeting, Brother Leonard. How you know what was said? I wasn't at the meeting, but I got the minutes from the meeting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I got the minutes. It's, it's a day in the Bible. The minutes right down the Bible. God made a motion. Yes, sir. <laughs> said, let us make man. And 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 Jesus chimed in. Well, if you make him, I'll go down and redeem him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Holy yeah. Spirit said, Well, God, if you make him, Jesus, and if you redeem him. Holy Spirit said, I go down and comfort him. Uh oh, uh oh. I see y'all don't read y'all about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. And from that moment, the devil decided, Target Uno is the man. He don't care nothing about getting them women. That's a, that's a secondary pride. But God loved man. Man was his crown jewel, apex, and zenith, zenith of all God created. And the devil always hates and destroys what God loved. Amen. To thank God, he made man, he made the church. And the devil been after everything God made. And here's the problem. He's, he, he, he masked his attack. He's a smart rascal. One of the adjectives Jesus uses to describe the devil is deceiver. See, smart people don't show you their hand. You wouldn't fall for it. Come on. Can we be real this weekend? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like women, brother. They don't just act like they're interested. Who, me? They mask it. And if you don't get control of your ability to deal with women, you will never be the man God called you to be. And those who gonna sit in here this weekend and act like women ain't no problem, uh, either you a sissy. I'm from Florida, I don't know none of y'all. <laughs> but please identify yourself. I, 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 uh, uh, every man, red-blooded American male who still has 
any semblance of masculinity left has to deal with the temptation of women. Can we talk for a minute, bro? Okay, okay, y'all still don't know, okay. 36, 24, 36. Oh, what a winning hand. She's a brick. Mighty, mighty, let it all. You got to be able to fit it now to know what I'm saying. <laughs> all men, at some point in your life or your ministry, you got to overcome the temptation of a women break through the table. And if you don't overcome that, you, see, we get together and talk about everything but what our real problems are. Okay? In a room this size, some of us today in this room are struggling with pornography. We're struggling with temptation. And, you know, uh, the devil is trying to get you to the women. And some of y'all in here tonight tell me, well, the devil don't bother me. Yeah. Well, if the devil don't want you, <laughs> yeah, you, you, you in bad shape. <laughs> Now, if the devil don't even want you, the devil wants you. And so what the book design, designed to do is unmasking his, his tactics. See, see, if I want to poison you, Brother Good, if I really want to poison you and Sister Good and I went to your house, I would not put a can a bottle of poison with a skull and crossbone in your refrigerator. You would never drink it. But if I went and put some poison in your Kool-Aid, because you like Kool-Aid and don't know it's poison, you would drink your own demise. The devil is so clever, he's not going to let you know what he's doing to destroy you. So he puts what will kill us in stuff we like. Y'all understand what I'm saying? And since so you like that 36, 24, 36, he will put some pause in it. Y'all are real quiet. Now. Uh, the, the book, and I'll do a, a better overview tomorrow, but it revealed. And so tonight I want to deal with this, put on the whole armor of God, because brothers, we're in war. This is not uh, for the faint of heart. Uh, I don't want to be a partial, but not only is Satan attacking masculinity, the man, but those of us in the African-American precinct, <laughs> he's got some special stuff for you. And I, uh, Paul's admonition to the church at Ephesus, and I'm glad to hear uh, my good friend Ed Maxwell mentioned that's one of the hallways y'all walk as a unit. Uh, you remember chapter six, for the brevity of time, I won't read it, but you remember uh, that, that really uh, well-known passage about putting on the whole arm of God. And he prefaces by saying the, uh, the evil day that you may uh, be able to stand. And three times in the text, Paul says uh, to stand firm. Uh, he's writing Ephesus. Of course, you know, those who are biblically astute, it's a pagan uh, environment, pagan society. He says three times to stand firm. Uh, and then he says, put on the whole arm of God. Now, that means you have the equipment but the instruction is to put it on. It, it doesn't matter what you have if you don't put it on. Uh, 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 folks, uh, you can go to the doctor and get prescriptions, but if you don't take it, it ain't no good. God provides the armor, but you got to have the fortitude to put it on. And you can't put on stuff that don't fit you. Amen. David learned that when he was dealing with Saul. Saul tried to give David, I know my good friend, Tony Goodman, a fellow author. Be sure to get his book while you're here. Uh, Y'all buy everything else. Buy, buy our books. Amen. Amen. You went to see Jay-Z and Beyonce. Buy a book. Yeah. Uh, 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 
uh, uh, he probably, he did it with Jonathan and, and David, but Saul uh, uh, tried to give David his armor. You got to know the story. David said, man, I, I can't wear this. It, it don't fit me. And the worst thing you can do is try to beat somebody else. The worst thing you do is try to be Brother Leonard or be Brother Wilkie or be uh, Brother Good or be Brother uh, Chillery. L listen, one thing I learned, I tell people everywhere I go, uh, uh, I'm the best Wesley T. Leonard in the world. Can't nobody beat me being me. If they have a Wesley T. Leonard contest, I'm going to win it every time. Because I don't want to be you. And I've gotten comfortable being who God made me. Now, that may make you uncomfortable, but I've stopped living to make other people comfortable. See, when you start living your life to make other people comfortable, even when you try to please them, they ain't happy but 48 hours. Amen. So now you got to be flipping and turning and topsy turvy. You better learn sooner or later who God made you to be, get comfortable with who you are, and let the chips fall where they may. And I know everybody don't love me, love my preaching, love my style, but that's okay. That's all right. This is a big pie. You can get your own genre. Okay, but 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 you know what? I'm gonna be me. Yeah, yeah. Cause this is how God made me. And my armor fits me. Can't wear Brother Gilbert's armor. Can't, can't wear your armor. And too many men are still trying to live through their daddy, their uncle, their granddaddy. You got to be who God made you to be. And Lord knows I hope you ain't trying to live through your mama. Because this is about masculinity. Uh, God, for a special reason, made us the head. Two things institution God made, you know, the home and the church. And he put man in charge. And ever since he did it, the devil has been attacking man. And we'll talk tomorrow about how he's exposed in our book. There's a seat for everyone on Blackwell's bench. Thanks for tuning in today. I'm glad you decided to stop by and fellowship with us. You are our favorite guest. And tell others you're watching Blackwell's Bench. Blackwell's Bench!